Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I redecorated our outdoor patio from this to this. Keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the before photo of how our back patio look. I know, I know. It was just a kid's play yard and all that good stuff. So my husband and I actually went to the store to Home, to Home Depot and we got some Zep to clean the concrete because we actually spray paint some stuff on the back porch and it messed up the concrete a little bit. So we tried to see if we could get that off on our own instead of, you know, getting a pressure washer. But... We needed a pressure washer because it wasn't working with just a scrub brush. Um, also, the mulch that you saw to the side, that is for the front of the house. When we actually redo our garden in the front, well, the landscaping in the front, which you guys are going to see later on in this video. So keep on watching. So I was recording and my husband was scrubbing and doing the work because, listen... It was a lot, and the kids was in the backyard playing. So this going to be a voiceover for the entire video, okay? Because the kids were just being kids, child. So go ahead and enjoy. And you can see where we're scrubbing and trying to get all this stuff off from, you know, when we were spray painting. So you can see my husband is just really trying to scrub it off. Then we actually decided to go ahead and get a pressure washer from Home Depot for about $100. It wasn't too expensive. Some things came off. Not everything came up, but you're going to see what I'm going to do with that so I can hide the areas that did not come off on the concrete. So I'm going to put a rug down. So that's the trick, ladies. Put a rug over some of the things that you messed up on your back patio because it's outside. It's outdoor living, so it's not that big of a deal. Put a rug down. So you're going to see that later on in the video. And then the... Actual patio set came from Best Choice Products, I believe is the name of the company. Um, I would say that it's affordable. It's not too expensive. Do I like it? Yeah, it'll, it'll work for right now. The rug came from Home Goods for about $60. I'll put the link down below for the patio set. Um, would I change it up? I'm not sure yet, but for right now, it's doing what it's supposed to do as the family lounge chair, and the, and the outdoor living, okay? I love the rug. And you're going to see that we have some of the same colors inside of our house outside. So I'm going to take that color from inside and transition it into like an outdoor living outside. So my husband, look at that sexy chocolate. My husband is spraying, um, you know, the bug spray around the perimeter of the back patio before we actually put the furniture down. So you're going to see that. And this was like after it's on dry, after we actually, um, after we scrub it, pressure wash it. You're going to see the kids in the background. So this is us trying to figure out how the set is supposed to go. Now, what I would say is I like about the set is that you can change the layout of the furniture to a little bit different sometimes. So if I want to switch it up, I could move the chairs around different ways. So I do like that about this furniture. This is the end result of it. Now, what I actually did is, like I told you, the rug is from Home Goods. The throw pillows is from Target and World Market. The, the actual um, throw blanket is what I had inside of our home in our living room. It's from Kirkland's. So I decided to take that out and bring it out there and then the picture frame, the picture was in our dining room, so I decided to bring it out. So I wanted to see if it would look good there, and if I wanted to leave it there, or if I wanted to add like a metal decoration outside instead of that portrait. And then the, but I actually like it. So we did not hang it up yet because I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave it there, or if I want something bigger. Um, the centerpiece, the center table actually came with the couch, with the with the sectional, and then I added a gold 
um, tray from Home Goods. I think it was like about $15. The Orchid, which is my favorite, favorite type of flower, it's from Home Goods and it was like $8. And then I also read about Centronella candles. So that helped to keep the bugs away when you're actually outside. So I added some Centronella candle on there. It's, it doesn't it doesn't really smell bad, but it helped a little bit with some of the bugs or the flies or anything like that while we're outside enjoying the back patio. And then the gold table that you guys see on the right side closer to the back door was actually in my living room. And I decided to bring that out and add um, like a blue vase. So guys, we actually changed the light fixtures on the patio and added fans. And then the only thing we want to do next is screen in the porch. And we have we added some plants back there. So now we move to the front of the house. And you're going to see my husband cutting down the shrubs because I wanted to change the entire landscaping. So this is what originally was there when we purchased our home. So we're getting rid of that. So I added some red mulch, the mulch that was in the backyard, and then I, we bought some hydrangeas, and the white plants is called, the white flowers is called annuals, and you buy them yearly. I know they look a little weird right now, but you're going to see, because we actually readjusted it, and they grew out really big. So we actually hired a company um, called Border Decor LLC, and what, they, what you're seeing is they already frame the layout for the border. Um, the border helps keeps everything in order and you're going to see where they put the border in the front of the garden and then also around the tree. So we had, my husband had to really cut the grass low in order for them to do it. So as you can see, the annuals grow out and you can see where they actually dig the, the pathway of where they're going to create the border going all the way to the fence. So this is them laying down the concrete and this is how it looks when they did their printing okay so we had to add pick the colors that we wanted to match the house so it's really customized so we had to pick the colors that we wanted what kind of browns if you wanted any reds or anything like that we had to pick that we had to pick those colors and then they actually created the color that we wanted or the look that we wanted and can you see how beautiful that looks like look at it so this is the final product and don't worry about on the inside of the border, this is where we have to actually get rid of the grass and we're gonna put down mulch and add some more shrubs coming down the side of the house on both ends. But this is after they have completed it. And guys, this is concrete, this is not rocks. So this is something that was custom made. And I'm also gonna link their information in the description below. And this is a black owned business. And he also created a custom area for when, the, when it rains for the water to run down from the top of the house so this is something that he created for us because before it was just a plastic like everybody every, every other home in the neighborhood had the same plastic um thing that comes with the house but he actually created a custom one for us so we could have got rid of the plastic one that we had and my husband really wanted this done because we had a border before that we got from home depot but it would not keep things in order the plants or the flowers or the mulch will always fall over so this helps keep everything in order and helps our landscaping to look nice and neat and you can see it in the front where they actually did it now look at the annuals can you see that you see how big they're grown so you just have to give it time to grow water sunlight and give it time everything takes time but i'm happy with the end result of it and then these are the shrubs that i added so you're gonna see it going all the way down so all to the side here where we did not finish as of yet we're gonna get rid of all the grass on the inside here and just decorate it add some light so that way it has more lighting outside it goes all the way down to the gate so this is something that's permanent that we will never have to like fix over again, which I love. My husband's happy with it, so I'm good. <laughs> Cause this is something he really wanted. I did not understand at first. I was like, we could just get something and just put it together real quick, but I love it. So thank you, Border Decor LLC. And like I said, if you guys were to hire them, you would have to pick the colors that you want, um, your own color to pull it out to match with your home or your decor for the front of your house. Um, cause it's custom, it's custom made. So every customer is on, is not going to look the same as far as color wise. 
And this is the final look of our landscaping, outdoor landscaping, which we're not even done with as of yet. Because like I said, we have to do the sides but and add some lights in the garden, in the flower bed, and to the side of the home going straight down. But this is the end result. And this is just me and the kids just kind of watering the flowers. That's something that we kind of do all the time, which is very relaxing. Just come outside just to water the, the garden. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one.